Okay, the biblical truth of our hymns, 61st hymn we're doing so far. And today is, Are You Washed in the Blood? And let me tell you, this song is one of the greatest songs. It's about Jesus. It's about the Lamb of God. It's about the blood. The blood's missing from many churches. Churches today in this modern Laodicean church days is anemic. You need the blood to be washed. This hymn is uh, Elisha Albright Pullman, a, 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 a Presbyterian minister, over 2,000 hymns, in addition to singing and writing. His family had daily family worship time, in which hymn singing was part of that family worship. Listen. Church is not just going to a place, a building, with a pastor preaching to you. A church is family where two or three gather together. If you're a husband and wife, that fits as a church. As a man teaching his family, whether it be a wife or whether it be children. Or even neighborhood. And other popular hymns of his is, what, is, what a wonderful Savior. Enough for me. Again, are you washed in the blood? Leaning on the everlasting arm. No other friend like Jesus. I must tell Jesus. Is all. Is all your. Is your all on the altar. How's that? <clears throat> A remarkable man by his words and his titles. And the actions of him. I say he saved. And loved the Lord. So have you been to Jesus? Not Mary. Not Allah, not church, not baptism, not by works that we have done. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? You want to be cleansed of your sins? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? John said it best. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Baptism is not blood. Church membership is not blood. Walking old ladies across the street is not blood. Giving money to charity. It's not blood. Are you fully trusting in his grace this hour? For by grace are you saved through faith and not of ourselves. It is a gift of God and salvation of God through the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You've got to trust on the merit of Jesus Christ alone. And nobody, including you, can do anything but the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Not weekly, daily, every day. Oh, I go to church Sunday morning. I go to church Sunday night. I go to church midweek service. But do you walk daily with the Lord? Do you read and pray and uh, study your Bible daily? Do you reach out to God daily? Not weekly, not church time, but daily. <clears throat> a man who, who had family devotions every day in his house, daily they would work with the Lord. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucifixion? Is your salvation, everything that rests upon you when you die to go to God the Father, is it resting? Is the foundation of the Lord Jesus Christ and nothing else. What he, what he wrote about. It's only by the blood. It's only by Jesus. It is the Lamb of God only. Nothing else can save your soul. When the bridegroom Jesus cometh, will your robes be white? <clears throat> Have you confessed your sins? If, you confess, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. We can be cleansed when Christ comes by A. John says, sin not. And if we do sin, we have an advocate of the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, which is able to cleanse us of our sins. If you sin, and we all have sinned, get the blood. Be washed in the blood. Be ready when the Lord comes. Be clean. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will your soul be ready for the mansion bright? When the Lord comes. Mansion. No, it's mansion. He had a King James Bible. Other Bibles, other preachers will say a house, a building, whatever. But it's a mansion, according to John chapter 14. 
a mansion I go prepare for you. Are you ready for that man? I'm not going for an inn. I'm not going for a hotel. I'm not going for a room. I'm not going for a building. I'm going for what the Lord Jesus Christ said he prepared. A mansion. <clears throat> Lay aside the garments that are stained with sin. Put them under the blood. Cleanse yourself of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yea, we sin. If we say we sin, we make God a liar. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that is through the blood, the precious blood of the Lamb without spot. When you sin, throw them, throw them away by the blood of the Come now, let us breathe again. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And be washed in the Lamb of God. There's a fountain flowing for the soul unclean. It flows, it flows, it never stops flowing until the rapture comes. And for this day and age, the church age, once the rapture happens, then the flow stops. Right now that flow flows for the lost to come to Christ. That flow flows for those that are saved and have sinned. Oh, be washed in the Lamb of God. Are you washed in the blood, not water, in the soul cleansing blood. There's one blood, Acts 20, 28 says that blood of Jesus is God. God's blood flows through the veins of Jesus. And if you're a Jehovah Witness, you're wrong because Jesus is God. And God is Jesus. You've got to have God's blood flowing. Uh, there, there's a play, there's an organization, if you give blood, give life. No, Christ giving us life. Giving us eternal life through the sin cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garments spotless? If they're spotted, confess your sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Sin none. If we do, we got that advocate. Are they white as snow? Come now, let us read again. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Wonderful, Elisha. A wonderful, Mr. Hoffman. It has Jesus. It has the blood. It has the Lamb. Certified and approved by God. This hymn is approved by God. Glory to God in highest. When was the last time you church sung it? 